This is Phone Arena's video review of the HTC Droid Eris, available through Verizon Wireless. The HTC Droid Eris and Motorola Droid are the first two Android-based smartphones that have been released by Verizon. In fact, the Droid Eris is a close cousin to the HTC Hero, which is sold by Sprint. Located on the front is a 3.2 inch capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 320 by 480. It is noticeably smaller than the 3.7 inch display used by the Motorola Droid and has a lower resolution. Despite this, it works rather well and is quite sensitive and accurate to the touch, but because of the lower resolution, you can see some pixelation in images and text. At the bottom are four touch sensitive buttons for home, menu, back, and search. Sometimes they can get accidentally pressed, so we wish they would have remained physical buttons like on the HTC Hero. Below it are the send and end keys, which also acts to lock the phone and to turn it off. In the middle is the trackball, which really only comes in useful when using the camera shutter button and when browsing the web that can also be used with the main home screens. The HTC Droid Eris is more compact, lighter, and has sleeker lines than the Motorola Droid, but is constructed out of plastic instead of metal. It has soft touch coating on the back, sides, and front with some chrome accents around the edges. Located on the left side is the volume rocker, on the top is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and on the bottom is the mini USB port. The 5 megapixel autofocus camera is on the back with a speaker phone next to it. The device also comes with an 8 gigabyte micro SD memory card slot installed, but unfortunately you have to remove the battery cover to access the memory card. Even though the Droid Eris runs on the older Android 1.5 OS, it comes with HTC's Sense UI interface, which is somewhat similar to the TouchFlow 3D interface that HTC uses on Windows Mobile devices. With Sense UI, it gives the device more ease of use and pretty much anyone can figure out how to use it in only a few minutes. There are seven home screens that you can populate with the wide variety of widgets, shortcuts, and folders. For some added fun and personalization, there is also six scenes that can be selected that change the overall look of the home screen. Pressing on the bottom arrow will open up the programs list that you can scroll through and select a program to open. Our only issue here is that several programs can take four to five seconds to open while on the Motorola Droid they are almost instantaneous. Pressing on the dedicated search key will bring up the Google search bar and it will list suggestions as you type. You can also perform a voice search and it bases the results on your current GPS location. Pizza Restaurant The contacts list is easy to use and syncs them from your online Google account or Exchange server. You can also manually enter contacts by using the phone. There are six tabs at the bottom for all, favorites, groups, updates and events with syncs with Facebook, and also your call history. For accessing your Gmail account, 
the Droid Ares has a separate program and it works in the same way as the web-based version. You can also manually add to the mail program other POP, IMAP, and Exchange accounts. Using the mail program is simple and you can send and receive text and HTML messages as well as attachments. The HTML web browser is one of the best parts of the phone as it fully renders sites as they would appear on a PC. You can scroll up and down and zoom in by pinching or by double tapping. Since the display is only 320 by 480 resolution, most text will be unreadable when the page is zoomed all the way out. Because of this, you'll have to zoom in quite often to be able to read the text. The 5 megapixel camera takes better looking images than we saw with its cousin on the HTC Hero. Pictures taken outside have slightly oversaturated colors, but we'd prefer this to the dull and lifeless colors produced by the Hero. But inside, pictures are still problematic as a lot of grain is shown, plus the lack of a flash doesn't help. Call quality was quite good on the HTC Droid Eris, as voices sounded clear and natural on our end, but there was a slight hiss in the background that could be heard during all calls, though this was not present when using the Motorola Droid. Signal reception was nearly identical on both phones as we had 2 to 3 bars of 1X and 3 to 4 bars of 3G showing in high coverage areas and didn't drop any calls. We were also able to get 4 hours of continuous talk time when the battery was fully charged. However, on the Motorola Droid we were able to get 6 hours and 45 minutes of continuous talk time on a full battery. The HTC Droid Eris is a worthy smartphone as it has a lot of features packed into a slim and attractive device. The Sense UI makes it unique from the Motorola Droid as it allows for more customizations, but the lower resolution display and lack of a physical QWERTY keyboard may keep some from going to it. We feel that the Droid Eris is good for consumers who are new to the world of smartphones and want a more personalized and user-friendly experience. Please visit PhoneArena.com for our full review of the HTC Droid Eris, including pictures and 360-degree rotational views.